Aloha everybody, this is the Tatted Wahine and I just wanted to share a short little video of the most recent Amazon picks that I've gotten in the mail today. There are just a few keto snacks and ingredients that have helped me on my keto journey which I wanted to share with you so that maybe you guys would find something that would help you guys on your journey as well too. All right, so the first item that I wanted to share has helped me with my love of cereal. It is the High Key Protein Cereal, keto friendly, very delicious. It does tend to be on the pricier side. I buy it in the four pack, which comes with the fruity flavor. It comes with a frosted flavor, chocolate or cocoa flavor, and of course the cinnamon. Now. Uh, the four pack is $40. I tend to find that it is cheaper to get it in the four pack than trying to buy it individually in single packs. I can tell you that all four flavors are delicious, so definitely get the four pack. This is a delicious cereal and snack that I do. I do the recommended amount of just half a cup of the cereal. I mix it with half a cup of the Almond Breeze Unsweetened Vanilla Milk, which I get from Costco. The macros on that would be a zero carbs and 105 calories. It's just a really delicious, sweet, quick in-between meal snack that I usually have. And sometimes I just have it for breakfast and my coffee and I'm good because it is a protein cereal, so it does keep me full. All right guys, now the next item that I did pick up from Amazon helps me with my craving for chips or something crunchy. Uh, they are the Twin Peaks Protein Puffs. Now these come in many flavors. It is on another pricey side, about $25 for this big jug. Now this big jug, this is actually my older one. I wanted to show you an example because I got another one in my cabinet, but this one so far has lasted me for about three weeks already. And it is still good, still crunchy. I don't know if you guys hear that crunch. Very delicious. I do the recommended amount of only one cup because one cup is the two net carbs and only 130 calories. And this is very very satiating i find that the one cup is good enough for me it does come in tons of delicious flavors my go-to would be the nacho cheese and then i ordered the sour cream and onion and both of them i find to be very very delicious you will not go wrong with these two flavors now the next snack that i actually bought from amazon and it kind of stays with the whole crunchy theme is the Lowry's 18 pack pork rinds, original pork rinds. This is the microwavable packs. Um, they are only one net carb, super, super delicious packs. Um, let me open this up here and let me the calories. So it comes in individual packs here, just like this. And then the calories for this is 60 calories per serving, only one net carb. I use this to dip in dips. I actually use this to mash up and use as like a panko kind of breading for my chicken katsu or fried chicken or whatever needs the breading. Uh, those recipes are coming soon, so please subscribe. You'll be seeing those ones soon. Um, easy way to make chicken katsu because you know as local girls, we love our chicken katsu, but that'll be coming soon. But definitely worth it. Uh, as the 18 pack saves a lot more money than me trying to go to Times or to Hulan buying it individually and it lasts a long time so definitely something worth picking up and it does help not only as a snack but as for ingredients for a lot of keto recipes. Now this next snack I kind of just stumbled over it on Amazon. Um, it is the Good Good Company Strawberry Jam. Now I love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I got the Thin Slim Foods actual breading for my zero carb bread, natural peanut butter from Costco. It, it tends to be on the higher calorie side, but I tend to limit the peanut butter. But this thing, this thing, $7, amazing. 
the macros on this are only five calories and one net carb for a tablespoon. Guys, this thing is delicious. I have tried the strawberry. I have tried the blueberry one. Um, I have yet to try all the other flavors, but my go-to this time, because I ordered again, was the strawberry. I just, it is just so delicious. It's not too sweet, very keto friendly. Uh, you can put this on your keto biscuits. You can uh, put it on your keto pancakes. And again, like how I do it, my peanut butter jelly sandwiches. But definitely, definitely worth it just for the macros alone. Five calories, one net carb. You guys definitely need to pick this up. Okay, so this next snack that I actually picked up from Amazon in this recent haul is for when I'm kind of lazy and don't have enough time to just whip up my own scratch keto brownies which are super easy to make i will be getting that recipe out soon guys but i do tend to go to the high key brownie mix now i've tried a lot of keto brownie mixes out there i tend to find that the high key one uh, satisfies my sweet tooth the most it is only two net carbs and 130 calories per brownie. Super easy to make. All you need is a stick of butter and two eggs. Pour this whole thing in, pop it in the oven, and you got brownies, you got good to go. I have also ordered the two pack, which it comes with the original blonde brownie mix and the uh, chocolate chip brownie mix. So if you get the two pack, it tends to be cheaper than just buying one pack at a time. But definitely if you just want a quick brownie fix and you don't have time to be mixing all of those almond flour keto ingredients, you just want something to eat right away, I definitely would recommend the high key brownie mixes. So get those right away. All right, guys, last but certainly not least, my all-time favorite and go-to snack, the one thing that's kind of been the go-to that's been keeping me on the straight and narrow every time I need some chocolate in my life, gotta give it to the Lily's Chocolate Chips. Now, I buy it from Amazon because I find it to be a lot cheaper there. You get a three-pack, nine-ounce three-pack for I think about $22. Uh, Walmart has it for like a seven ounce pack for six dollars you can also find it at your local Whole Foods or down to earth but it tends to be more expensive there Walmart would be the cheaper place if you do not want to pick it up from Amazon they do have other flavors like dark chocolate milk chocolate butterscotch caramel white chocolate but I tend to gravitate to the semi-sweet style chocolate chips the reason for that is these are the ones that have zero carbs yes i said it per serving zero carbs only 50 calories and you get to eat 30 chips 30 chips so every time i need like a quick chocolate fix i grab a handful of these and I'm good to go. I don't even need to worry. I also use these for my chocolate chip cookie bars, my keto brownies that I whip up from scratch, and my OMG bars, which all of those recipes are coming on my channel soon. So definitely subscribe, stay tuned because they're easy recipes for the everyday person, quick and easy. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm just a regular local girl trying to keep on this keto journey and want to help you guys out too so definitely definitely pick up the semi-sweet style ones if you want zero carbs uh, the other flavors tend to have one or two and i think up to three net carbs but all of them very delicious but gotta do this if you love chocolate like i do this will save you for sure all right guys well that concludes my little amazon haul that i got in the mail today i do hope that you found this video helpful and that maybe you found some snack ideas that can help you on your keto journey if you guys have any other questions or maybe uh, comments that you want to share with me please leave it below but definitely subscribe because i've got some amazing easy keto recipes that you guys are gonna love Thank you so much for supporting the channel and have a beautiful, blessed day. Aloha.
I just wanted to add a little bonus. Um, I recently found this at Ross's. I know it's not part of the Amazon haul, but I did find these at Ross. I did talk to you guys about the Twin Peaks protein puffs, and I found that Ross's here in Hawaii does have the sour cream and onion. They have the jalapeno cheddar, and they also have a barbecue flavored one and the nacho one. They are $2.99 for the pack. It comes a two serving pack. You guys, if you see that see this at Ross and you guys don't want to spend the $25 commitment on a big jar and you just want to try the flavors, go to your local Ross. They do have them there. Pick them up. Try the flavor. If you love it, then get the big pack. But just wanted to give a little bonus and share this all with you guys. Aloha.